Oxford University is a long way from Washington, D.C., but proposed U.S. anti-piracy legislation, which has since been postponed, has been the subject of energetic debate here, too. There's a lot wrong with these bills. The reason, uh, the stated reason, which I think is actually the reason, uh, here is to try to combat piracy. Uh, there's a lot of money that flows into Washington from Hollywood. Uh, Hollywood is very concerned about the problems of piracy. Um, they are, unfortunately, in my view, quite prone to exaggerating the size of the problem. Wikipedia founder Jimmy Wales was here to launch an online campaign called Free Speech Debate, a day after the online encyclopedia was blacked out as part of an effort to generate debate about free speech. My view is that the, the solution to this can't start with uh, thinking about ways of censoring the internet, thinking about ways to block access to things. First of all, uh, it's completely hopeless. Um, the, the internet is, ju it just doesn't work that way. Thank you very much. Oxford professor Timothy Garton Ash explains why U.S. legislation is the focus of such attention so far away. Everybody gets their knowledge online. Everybody who is online, that's two billion people, gets their knowledge online. And a lot of it comes from sites which are basically under First Amendment U.S. jurisdiction. So the whole of Wikipedia, for example, Google.com. So what America does impacts on the whole world. Wales admits shuttering a repository of free knowledge in order to take a stand about free speech is somewhat counterintuitive, but he also says it's been effective. On a normal day, about uh, 25 to 30 million uh, would see uh, English Wikipedia, but we had over 160 million people come to check out what was going on. Uh, we had over 8 million people in the U.S look up the phone number for their congressman. Now, we don't know how many of them actually called, but the reports we heard back from Capitol Hill uh, were that they were swamped. The House phone system went down at one point. So that was exciting. And by the next day, the politicians back in Washington decided it wasn't the right time to proceed with the legislation known as SOPA and PIPA, shelving the bills indefinitely. Matt Cowan, Reuters.